Um, and we have one final speaker, um, Morgan Hughes. Mr. Hughes, welcome back to Council. Um, you uh, name and address, and you have three minutes. Uh, my name is Morgan Hughes, 1065 Summit Street. Uh, and 617 days ago, I walked into this room and spoke to you as a representative of a newly formed grassroots organization that was less than a week old. On that day, the sting of the announcement that our community was facing destruction was still fresh. And while we were beginning to develop into the globally recognized phenomenon that we would eventually become, on that day, we really didn't know what we didn't know. We stood before our city council and we asked for your help. It was admittedly a fairly broad request, one that maybe lacks specificity on a real tangible level. But instead of dismissing us as a group of people who didn't have it all together quite yet, you instead collectively recognized us for what we could be. You chose to see and believe in what our movement would become. And even though you didn't have to, you stepped up and became passionate allies in our battle to save the crew. I'm here again today on behalf of Save the Crew to say thank you and to tell you how proud I am to be a resident of this city and a member of this community. When I was here speaking to you for the first time 617 days ago, I talked about how the world would be watching how this all played out. And I knew that however this saga ended would create a lens through which people would view Columbus. And as that view is coming to focus, it is obvious to all what this city values and what our people stand for. Where another city may have rolled over and let an absentee owner rip a cherished community asset away, the city of Columbus said, no, it is not going to go down like that. We're going to fight this. Where every other American city in a long history, these kinds of fights ultimately ended up losing, we won. It didn't matter to us that it had never been done before anywhere ever, because this is Columbus, and we are a city of firsts. This is a place where never been done before only means that there's an opportunity to write our collective names into the history books as the first to do something that everyone else told us was impossible. And where another city might let the Moffrey Stadium site fall into disrepair, we instead choose to redevelop it into a space where the youth of our community can and will play their games and dream their dreams for generations to come. It would be all too easy to walk away from that underserved neighborhood, but just like you did, before, when you stood up for us, when we weren't yet the best version of ourselves, you're now choosing a different path, one of revitalization and one of investing in the future of a neighborhood that will now have brighter days in front of it than it did in its past. I applaud you all for choosing that hard path because it is the right path to choose. When the grassroots movement known as Save the Crew started, we had one simple goal in mind, get the right people together in the right rooms to make the right decision to save our community from being destroyed. And thanks to rooms like these, and thanks to people like you, the final resolution of this saga is beyond our wildest dreams. So on behalf of every single person that will benefit from all of your hard work, it is with endless gratitude and a very, very, very full heart that I say, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Hughes.